Amazon has announced 30,000 layoffs, 10% of reduction and 33% of the layoffs are for software engineers. Majority of the layoffs in tech industry this year have been targeted against software engineers. Is this the end of software engineering? Because Nvidia last year, Jensen Huang said that they don't want anyone to code anymore. Elon Musk said that AGI is coming next year. Is it really true? AGI is finally here and is it the end of software engineering? Let me tell you honestly, my beliefs and what is the truth behind the layoffs in this video. Some of those jobs will never come back. Some of the jobs people help build and create AI and then their jobs get taken away. Overnight, the company announcing it'll eliminate approximately 14,000 roles. This is the largest corporate layoff of the year, one of the largest in Amazon's history. First of all, AI layoffs are a really big deal. Companies with one of the best work-life balance like think about Microsoft, 15,000 layoffs in one summer, three to four months, 15,000 plus layoffs. Amazon, they announced 30,000 in a leak, but officially it's 14,000. And if you look at this data, 32% are potentially software developers, but this is wrong. This is on blind. This was very famous post, but this is wrong. I actually fact checked it. And to fact check it, I went to trusted sources and the truth is in Washington, it's 25% are software engineers and they are the number one targeted employees at in, in the Washington state. And in fact, even in California, the majority target have been software developers as well. Now, before I tell you why these layoffs are happening, let me be honest, most of you think that it's because of AGI. Microsoft and Amazon, both doing biggest layoffs, have finally AGI ready to replace software developers. And the theory is there are three perceptions most of you have. One of these three. Number one is that, oh, AGI is around the corner coming in the next one, two years or already here, which is one LLM so powerful that it can solve all the problems. The definition of this AGI is AGI or AI system, which can replace software developers so powerful that it can replace a full-time software developer. Now, number two perception is AGI is very far, 20 years or 30 years, some people say decades, for example, Dwarkesh Patel or Andre Karpati, they say it's decade of agents and decade of super intelligence. We have to wait more than 10 years, then finally one model will come, which will be very intelligent. Uh, Andre Karpati says it's gonna be a billion dollar model maybe and it's going to be so intelligent and if it doesn't know the answer it's going to straight say it doesn't know it and you know give you the best replacement of a software developer which is 10 years away and number three which is my belief that number three i made a reel about it as well which you can check out so number three my belief is that agi is not just one model it's systems even even anthropics team sholto mentioned that it's a system in which different apps integrate to actually create workable replacement for a software developer. The idea is that, you know, one LLM would not come soon, which is super intelligent. Our goal is to create systems around it, which are decently good, like an average software developer, like, like Cloud Code, when I use it, I made a dedicated video on Cloud Code. I use it, it's so magical. It feels like, you know, with one short prompting, it made me a beautiful iOS app I still use. And when you see that running magically, you feel like it's very intelligent, but doesn't continuously learn like an employee. Like, you know, Dwarkesh Patel uh, and like a lot of great folks in AI, they talk about the AI has to continuously learn over six months. And even if you look at Claude's score on SWE Bench, that means AI is made to solve 500 open source problems and they are doing 76% accurately, which is better than most humans already. So my theory is, AGI is already here. We already have SW Bench with, with like, you know, Cloud Code, OpenAI. They have great scores with open source. And with little bit of systems around the corner, such as Greptile for code reviews, such as good CI CD pipelines, with, with like good monitoring systems, like one human for three or four agents, you can actually achieve intelligent systems replacing two to three engineers with one engineer. And I truly, truly believe that. And that's my belief that if you consider replacing just an average software engineer, we are already there. If you want to like reach maybe senior software engineer, we are not there. That's why we see the blogs that senior software engineer achieve way more than junior software engineers with AI. That is true. Junior software engineers with AI are still like, you know, noobs or way below, <laughs> way below like 
the capability of just AI itself. So that's my theory. Now coming back to why these layoffs are happening. Support by Pragmatic Engineer, like Amazon already laid off 18,000 people in January 2023, March 9,000. And then in November 2023, further more people and April, there were a lot of AWS people let go. So a lot of people were already hired in the last, uh, a lot of people were already laid off in the last three years. And the reason when they laid it, them off, they gave was that we want to make them more autonomous, like a startup and remove the middle management, remove the bureaucracy who make them slower. And it is true, in the last three years, if layoffs happened, majority of the managers, management was removed. They did not target many software developers. But now, what the message they have given is, some may ask if we are reducing the roles and companies performing well, AWS did perform well. It didn't grow really fast as GCP or Microsoft Azure, but it did perform really, really well. You know, 20% increase is a big number. Percentage increase 20% is way less if you think 40% of Azure, but if Amazon is already really big, 90 billion revenue to 100 plus billion revenue, it is still big thing. So if they are performing well, then why they are laying off? Across our businesses, we are delivering great consumer experiences every day, innovating at a rapid speed, producing strong business results. What we need to remember is the world is changing quickly. Alert that something is changing. Uh, this generation of AI is the most transformative technology we have ever seen across the internet. It's enabling companies to innovate faster ever than before. We are convinced that we need to be organized more leanly, fewer layers of fewer layers and more ownership, that means agency, to move as quickly as possible for our consumers as businesses. But I would argue they said the same. They said the same when they laid off before, basically removing uh, the management layer going faster. They did, they're not mentioning directly that they are actually attacking individual contributors. And why they're not doing it? Because the layoffs reason is not just is not just removing the middle management. It's actually preparing for the wave of AI. Trust me or not. Because if you look at Elon Musk's tweet, I really like one of the tweet, which is agency is better than intelligence. Model which is far most intelligent might not come till 10 years. But with agency, with these systems around the corner, MCP, <laughs> like smart model, Greptile for code reviews, or you know, uh, Code Rabbit for code reviews, these systems, AI systems connecting together, we finally are reaching one of the most intelligent coding system we ever seen. Codex running for, you know, hours and hours, like 30 plus hours, some people have seen. Chat GPT cloud code running for hours and hours. Soon it's going to be running for days, weeks. If these systems can be, you know, improved here and there, let's say SW Bench can be improved from 76% to like 85, 90%. And somehow we can figure out the memory situation where it continuously learns here and there with some tweaks or if memory is not there, we can have one manager for two or three developers. We are right there with AGI, my friends, because a lot of teams are not hiring. A lot of teams hate hiring. I talked to even uh, Daksh, he's the founder of Greptile. He makes code reviews because he, he makes a system of better code reviews and better checks in the system for security, etc. Another statement I'm going to react to, we are convinced we need to be organized more leanly with fewer layers and more ownership to move as quickly as possible for our customers and businesses. Again, like you cannot agree to this term again, but if I even evaluate their project Rainier, which is the 500,000 uh, Tranium chips, which they build, which costed $11 billion with layoffs, they're saving $3 billion. And <laughs> with this investment, they would basically save 30% of their investment towards this project. And they already have 33 billion of free cash reserve to build three times this data center already. They're not running low on money, by the way. The, the whole reason is to prepare for this new wave of AI. Even if the systems are not ready enough, the goal is to go closer to the, to the systems and then finally prove that AI is replacing software developers. And they, they're never gonna show directly, but the truth is taking us closer to that future. It might not be true right now. Again, I say it, the complete picture is not that AI is replacing software developers. It's just that AI is making them more productive 
and slowly reducing the need of extra software developers. And soon we are reaching that it's completely replacing software developers. That's my bet. That's my conclusion. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best. All the people who are looking for new jobs. I have like already made so many job market updates. I've shared so many strategies. I don't want to repeat in this video. You can check out all of them in uh, on my channel in the last five videos. You can find them. Thank you so much for watching.